Hey guys, welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa if you don't know me already So this is my second annual year of doing this type of video If you saw the title and the thumbnail you already know what we're doing So in this video I'm going to be showing every single gift that I gave people for Christmas and also what I received for Christmas in 2023 So if you're curious to see what I got everyone We're just gonna honestly jump right in and start there not really a ton to say um, I will say my family isn't like super, super big, but I do have my mom's side of the family, my dad's side of the family, and then my boyfriend's side of the family. So I have like three different people to shop for. Apologize for how terrible this footage is that I'm about to show. It's like two days or three days after I had my wisdom teeth taken out. So bear with me on that. But with that being said, let's go ahead and see what I got others for Christmas. Hey guys, if you're watching this, I just had my wisdom teeth taken out. I can't even talk, oh my god. Sorry about that, but I need to start wrapping gifts and now is the time I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna just show everything I'm giving people before I wrap it all up. So let's get started. First of all, my grandparents always want like a calendar. So I got them this really pretty one that has a lot of different destinations from Greece. And then it has not arrived yet, but from Amazon, I did also get them this like chip clip pack because I just noticed like that's something they would need. Not my camera gonna die. Next, this is for my stepmom, Abby. It's like this little rotating makeup organizer thing. She has a bunch of very expensive perfume and I thought this would just be cute to um, put those on. And it's also like, pretty looking. For my little cousin, I got him a remote controlled car. It's like supposed to be a Bugatti, I'm pretty sure. And it's just like a pretty small, basic little remote control car. And then for my other cousin, I'm gonna give her this mermaid squishmallow because I think she likes squishmallows. She also really likes unicorns and mermaids. So it's a good combo. For my secret Santa at work, I picked up this Starbucks cup. Um, when I was Black Friday shopping, so you guys may have already seen that, but got that. I'm doing a holiday gift exchange, so I did get a couple of these little, they're not Apple brand, but basically you can plug in like multiple different things with one USB. So if you're like traveling or on the go, I just thought this would maybe be helpful. For my friend Sarah, I did give her a couple things, like half of them still haven't shown up yet, and it's been like a month since I ordered them. But I got, this is like a <laughs> chub rub stick thing. So when it's like super sweaty outside that you don't have like issues with your legs rubbing together. She also just started a new job not too long ago. So I got her the same little like clip thing that I have for my keys. It's like a little smiley face. I don't know if you guys can even see, but it has like rhinestones on it. And then I got her an ornament that's on the way. For my mom, again, the item has not arrived yet, but I got her like this big hair crimper. She has like the thickest hair out of anyone that I know. And so she needed like a really big one. Um, and then I got a bunch of stuff from Batiste. So I'm gonna give her one of these like jumbo dry shampoo things. And then I'm also gonna get her like a hair heat mask thing. I asked John if he would rather have a t-shirt or if he would rather I give it to my brother and he said he would rather have it, <laughs> I guess. So there's like this Columbia shirt that has this design on it. Um, so I got that. <laughs> also, he is in the like construction kind of field so he installs cameras and he needs work boots that have like steel toe and his are really disgusting. I know that like Skechers are not really cool but these had the best reviews on Amazon. Definitely like a dad shoe but I just thought like for the reviews and for what he does it would be nice to get a new pair because his are disgusting right now. So hopefully he likes them. And then I also got him this McLaren sweatshirt again i think from hollister and i just thought it was a nice nice sweatshirt very cozy i'm probably gonna steal this honestly so yeah that is what i got for him for john i got him another kind of like race car type thing this is a like coffee table book and it's about cards so 
thought that would go good with this McLaren sweatshirt. And this year we are actually spending all of Christmas up north with John's family at a cabin. And when I saw this, it just reminded me of his mom for some reason. It's like this sparkly little wine holder thing that looks like a snowflake. And I'm probably just gonna pair that with like a Chardonnay or something. Um, no idea what else to get them because they have everything. Um, I think that's like pretty much everything I was gonna show. There's a few other like little things I'm probably gonna be picking up every now and then, but that is pretty much everything that I gave for Christmas. So now let's go on to what I got for Christmas. And I'm just gonna go in chronological order of when I received the things. So very first thing, we actually hosted a little get together for my dad's side of the family at my townhouse. So my boyfriend and I were hosting and we did just like a $15 gift exchange where everyone brought one item and then we just did like the dice game with it. So I ended up winning this little makeup pouch thing. It's pink and it's like kind of a Sherpa texture. And I really, really like it. It's definitely very like spring and summery, just with the fun, bright pops of color. And I've just used it so far as a travel makeup bag. So we just went up to the cabin for Christmas and it actually holds quite a bit of stuff. So um, I've been enjoying that so far. And then my sister got me this little ornament that is like a lobster and it's pink and sparkly and it's kind of random but it does kind of match my energy so we're just gonna put that on the tree for the rest of the video i think the next thing that i did was my secret santa at work and so my secret santa was this girl named anna that i work with and she got me this stanley and as you can see it's like iridescent and kind of has like a pink hue to it um honestly i've been very much enjoying this it keeps all my water super ice cold and I feel like this matches my personality and everything very great. Next up, it's definitely not necessary like at all to exchange gifts with your friends, but me and my roommate Sarah from college, we really like to do that. So the tradition just carried on into this year. Okay, you already saw the footage of what I got her, so I don't know why I'm even explaining that again, but she ended up getting me the Britney Spears memoir book of um, The Woman in Me. So far, as you can see by this napkin, I am just about halfway through, and so far I've been really enjoying it. Let me know if you guys wanna see a book review of this book. Um, it did make me cry one time, but I don't know. Brittany's made some interesting choices, I'll say. And then she also got me these little ice cream cone snack things. I don't really know. And then a planner sticker packet thing from Target. And then in the mail, I actually received this from my grandparents who live in Florida and I really don't see them a ton, but they just got me and John this little custom ornament shipped like to our house. And um, and again, just a nice little fun ornament to add on to the tree. I think next up we went to my mom's house and she got me like a various random assortment of items. So first things first, I do have a little tin that I got from Target that holds cookies and this matched it. So I got this little towel for the kitchen to just go with the theme. Next up, you probably can't really tell what this is, but it is this Michael Kors like set of a hat and scarf and it's in this like baby pink color. I did wear this already one time when we were up at the cabin because it was kind of cold outside. Um, the hat is still stuck in here and I don't really want to put it on right now because it'll make my hair all messed up but this is what it would look like. Okay the next thing I got for my mom I found kind of random but I mean it makes sense why she got it for me because I used to be like really obsessed with collecting Squishmallows while I was in college. Um, so she got me this Squishmallow ornament set. And so it has like a bunch of different characters on there that are really popular and just like a Christmas kind of vibe. They do have little things that you can hang them on the tree. I will say I do really like this one because we have the larger version of it and it's on our bed right now. So um, now I have a bunch to pick from. Next from my mom, again, don't know why she got me these. Mom, if you're watching, no offense, I just don't know where the train thought was from. As I mentioned, my boyfriend and I do live in a townhouse together and with that being said, we don't have like a ton of Christmas decor. My mom got me these. <laughs> one is supposed to be for my boyfriend John, so this one here. And then this one is like this little ballerina thing, so. We got some Christmas decor for next year. Next up for my mom, I did end up getting a pair of Doc Martens, which I'm not mad about. However, they don't fit me really well, but this is what they do look like. I do like the aesthetic of them. They kind of remind me of like the Machine Gun Kelly boot, 
Um, they're not very convenient for Minnesota winter. Like there's not a ton of tread and I do feel like they're a little bit on the thin side. Aesthetically, like they are cute. I just, they don't fit me 100% perfect. They're a little bit too big. Um, so I think I will have to return these and either get a different style or size or something. But it is really cute and I do like the shoes. And then the last thing that my mom got me, I'm not gonna show on camera because it's like huge, but basically they're th these floating shelves that can go on a wall and they're just like this nice oak color. So I'm excited to hang those up in the guest bedroom and maybe do like a winter spring project. So that is everything I got from my mom. And then from my brother, he ended up getting me like super randomly these shots that are like in this pack. So they're like flavored shots. So since there's so many of them, we decided to just bring it with with John's family Christmas and made like a game out of them. So. We had a good time enjoying those shots. And then for my grandparents, they just gave me some cash this year. So that's how it went on my mom's side of the family. So appreciate y'all. And then from my boyfriend, John, we just decided to exchange gifts by ourselves here before we went to any family Christmases because it's just kind of stupid to like take the gifts that we wrapped and then like bring them somewhere unwrap them and then bring them right back. So we just did it here. First thing he got me, you guys are actually on right now. It is a new tripod. It's just one of the Amazon basics ones that I had linked for him. And I've had this one in the past and it worked great. My toxic trait is just losing the little thing that you can actually connect your camera to that sits on top. I displace mine every single time. So I don't know if I need to like spray paint it pink or something so that I don't lose it, but that tends to keep happening. And then the other thing he got me I'm so excited about because this is something I had on my wish list this year it is the run on clouds shoes and they're the exact ones that I wanted and I'm so excited for these my other running shoes are literally like destroyed and of course they're white too so they look really gross and I just really really enjoy the style of these the fit and they're super super light so I'm very very excited to give these a go as soon as it starts not being as slushy and gross outside Okay, and then last but not least, this is everything I got from John's parents. So on Christmas Day, we open gifts and I have this really cute little daisy box. It's pink. And then inside of it, it's like a bunch of pink themed things, which I'm not mad about because I really like pink. So first up, there's this little pink frame that has kind of like a fake leather on the outside. And then they just put some wrapping paper in as the print. And then actually when they handed it to me, there was this Ulta gift card like stuck inside of it too. So I got an Ulta gift card, a picture frame. They also got me something exactly off my list, which I'm excited about. This Sol de Janeiro little body spray and this is like a little travel set so it comes with a shower gel and a lotion as well so i'm excited for this and it's so cute and small um we're actually going to florida in about two weeks on a work trip so i'm very excited to be able to pack these little minis with me on that trip and then we also got some hot cocoa sprinkles that have little candy canes and chocolate pieces and marshmallows so that is what i got from them and then of course at any family gathering you just have to play some type of game so we were doing the dice game and I ended up getting this at the end it's like these safety glasses and ear protection not mad about it though because sometimes I do like to go to the gun range with my grandparents or something and then we're also apparently going to be going to the Indy 500 as soon as that event happens in the spring so I'll at least have like ear protection for that as well and then the very last thing that I got for Christmas this year is something that is given to us every few years from John's side of the family. And that is a custom Christmas sweater that corresponds to whatever year it is. So it's 2023, so this is what we have for this year. That is everything that I got for Christmas this year. Hopefully you enjoyed watching what I gave and received for Christmas. Make sure to leave a comment down below with what your favorite thing is that you received for Christmas this year. I'm not trying to brag in any way. Um, I feel like there's definitely been other years where I've got like a ton ton more stuff so i feel like this year was actually pretty decent and tame for the most part with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in the new year bye